I'm going to give you kind of a brief introduction of what disc golf is and some of the stuff you're going to learn. Then we're going to break up into groups. I'm Joe. You guys have all met me. This is my brother Jason. And uh, shortly we'll see my friend Andy will come be coming up, and that's his introduction too. Um, so Jason's going to talk to you about the forehand throw. That's when you're throwing on this side of your body. Like if you think about tennis, tennis forehand, it's actually a fairly similar motion to that. And then Andy's going to talk to you about the backhand throw. Again, if you think about tennis, the backhand shot, it's similar because you're going to come across your body like this. And I'm going to talk to you about putting. That's the last shot and the most important. I saved the most important one for myself. <laughs> so I'm just that kind of um, So then we're going to go out onto the course. We actually have a course here, the Road Apple Disc Golf Course that uh, Bob and I designed to put into the woods. Um, we're only going to play seven holes, and we're going to play a shortened layout, so don't get stressed. It's fun. Enjoy it. It's something new, so don't expect to get it right the first time, but enjoy it, right? Uh, whenever you're trying something new, you're stretching your mind, stretching your body, and trying something that you've never done before, which is a pretty cool thing to do, right? So very low stress. These are all, we're all friends. Yes? So I'll tell you a little bit about disc golf, and then if Andy's still not here, I'll take any questions you might have. Disc golf is just like your conventional golf in how you play. We go from a tee to a goal in the least number of shots possible. Easy enough. Except instead of hitting a ball with a stick, we're throwing discs at a basket. The basket, this is a smaller version of a basket, it's a practice basket for practice putting. Um, you can see the bigger one is out there in the field. That's the goal, that's our target. And the idea is I need to get my basket or my disc into that basket in the fewest number of shots possible. It has to be either in the actual basket itself or supported by the chain, like that. Either of those. If it lands on top, it's not done yet. Oh, yeah, oh come that? on. I think that would be the hardest one to get of all. Is there a so, mulligan? <laughs> no, a mulligan. We, I have played tournaments where you can buy mulligans, but uh, not You anyway. buy them. Uh, maybe you. <laughs> you can the person running your card, maybe they give you a mulligan. Uh, so I take my shot from the tee. The sea area is marked with those red flags. Sometimes if you go into a course, it'll be a cement pad or an asphalt pad. Uh, sometimes they also have AstroTurf pads, but there's always some designated tee area and you have to throw from there. So I go up and I take my shot and I throw. Flies through the air. This is my new spot I have to throw from. So if you're playing an official tournament, you have to carry one of these, it's called a mini marker. And I can either throw with my foot behind this disc or if I want to use that disc, I mark it the front edge of the disc, and that's my new spot that I can throw. Either way. Today we're going to be casual because I don't have enough minis for everybody. So we'll just pick up our disc and throw from the same spot. <laughs> so that's the basic gameplay. So you throw, it lands, you find your disc, you mark it, you take your next shot, you throw again, so you get to the basket. As I mentioned a couple minutes ago, there's a few different ways you can throw, and I want to go through those real quick before we break off into our groups. The most common and the type that uh, gets you the most distance is the backhand throw. So the backhand throw is across this part of your body, like a backhand in tennis. If I have a tennis racket, I swing the backhand like that. The motion is pretty similar. How many of you have ever used a push lawnmower? Yeah. Uh, you've had to pull, pull that cord to start it, right? And usually if it's, I don't know, maybe I just have bad luck, but it takes a couple pulls. Like I have to really get in there and pull it. Where it never happens. <laughs> so imagine if you will, you take that lawnmower and you put it up on a table. Now I'm pulling, I'm pulling that cord. That motion is the backhand throw. What? This. Unlike when you're throwing at the beach, right? Throwing a frisbee at the beach where you're curling your arm and getting spin on the disc that way. I need more motion. I'm throwing much farther than I would at the beach. So I need a little bit more velocity as it leaves my hand. So I get my whole body involved and I pull across. The spin happens when it exits my hand. I don't need to spin it. It spins all by itself. Interestingly, this is my physics nerd self. When it's spinning this way, if you're right-handed and you throw a backhand, it'll always go left at the end because of physics, which is kind of neat. But sometimes we need the disc to turn right at the end. So we need it to be spinning the opposite direction. So we have to use a forehand shot. This is what my brother is a special. He's a specialist in the forehand shot. The forehand shot, again, like tennis, where you're forehanding on this side of your body, is a throw on that side of your body. And the disc, when it leaves my hand this way, it's spinning like this. When it leaves my hand this way, it's spinning the opposite direction, so at the end, it's going to tail to the right. Now, every disc behaves a little differently. That's why I carry a big bag full of discs. Some of them will turn over more. Some of them will go harder to the left or harder to the right. Are they different weights? And they are different weights, and they behave a little differently. But we're going to keep it simple today. I'm just going to show you the three basic kinds of discs. 
This is a putter. It's the most similar to a uh, frisbee you throw on the beach. You can see it's kind of blunt on the edge and they're kind of a little bit soft. So that when they hit, do hit the ground or if they hit the basket, they just stop. Because I want to get as close to the basket as possible. Getting it into that basket is kind of tricky, especially when you're far away. The closer you are, the easier it is. So we don't want it to hit and roll far away. So they use a softer plastic and it hits. In the so that's a putter if you want to see what that looks like. If I want to go a little bit farther, I use a mid-range disc. Again, it's still kind of blunted on the edge. You see it's a lot smaller than a frisbee is, right? It's um, not quite as wide, but it's just as heavy. So we got, again, physics nerd stuff. A lot of the mass of the disc is along the outer edge, so it can handle a lot more torque. If I throw that really hard, it's going to roll over and just roll across the ground. This one I can throw a little bit harder because it's got more mass center on the outside. So you can feel what a mid-range feels like. And a driver, the driver disc is much sharper on the edge. These are meant to go the farthest and fly the fastest through the air. They're pointy at the edge so that they cut through the air. So you can feel, you can feel what that is. Any questions about any of that stuff so far? There are courses that are wide open, like this one is fairly open. There's not much in the way, but there's also courses like the rest of this course that go right through the woods. And you have to hit gaps and avoid trees. It's challenging, but that's part of the fun. Jamie, how do you aim it? Oh, that's a great question. Right, right. Now, they're going to talk to you a little bit about oh, it when they're talking about the shots. We, you aim with your, your hips kind of. Oh, I go. Right, right. So as I'm coming across, my front foot's a little in front, but my hip is pointed to my target as I pull straight across my body. What you're going to want to do, and you're probably going to do once or twice, is you're going to come up like this. When you try to throw hard, and it's going to go. My release is right straight across. Yeah. We want it as flat as we can. The most common mistake, and Andy will probably talk to you about this, is when you release kind of high, and it's going to just spike. It's not going to go very far, and it's going to just go right to the left. Kind of like golf. Yeah, very much so. straight. Uh, last thing, and then we'll break up into our groups, and we'll have about five to ten minutes each station to, to learn and practice a little bit. Um, the grip. If you're going to throw a backhand, there's two different ways to hold the disc, and it's whatever's comfortable for you. Everybody's hand is different, and the discs are all the same, so we all have to grip them slightly differently. But there's two general ways to grip the disc. The power grip is when I kind of make a fist and I curl my fingers in and grab the rim of the disc like this. And I'm squeezing with my thumb. So you can see that's the power grip. It's called the power grip because you have more power because you can swing harder before it pulls out of your hand. There's also the fan grip, which is like this. And that's more of a control grip. It slides out of your hand easier so it doesn't go as fast as it's going out. Make sense? Forehand, there's the one finger grip, where you just have one finger on the rim like this. You can see it. The stacked grip, where you have two. You can go a little harder because you've got double the support pushing on the rim. Or I do kind of this tabletop where I, I curl that knuckle up and it holds the disc up for me. That's how I do it. Again, it's whatever is comfortable for you. And Jason, Jason out there will walk you through that. I have 12 putters. And you can throw putters. Just because they're called putters doesn't mean you have to putt with them. You can throw them just like you can throw these. And I have 12 mid-ranges and drivers right here. And there's 12 of you. That's convenient, right? <laughs> so if everybody could grab each one of these and break up into groups of four. Oh, the drive is all about power, right? I was showing you. You're reaching across. There's a lot of motion here. My whole body's moving. So there's a lot of motion here. With the putt, everything needs to be straight because any extra motion introduces an error. If I'm if I'm trying to throw hard, I'm gonna probably knock this basket over and probably miss. And my next shot is probably gonna be farther than it was before. That's no good. I don't want any of that. I want everything to be in one line, with a, a straight line to the basket. There's two different ways to putt. One's called a pitch putt, and the other's called a spin putt. But they both do the same thing. They're both trying to get the, the disc in the basket. A spin putt, I use a lot of my wrist, and I spin the disc like that. So it comes in, out really fast. Right, a lot of power. Obviously, I'm too close to be spinning from here. So from here, I'm going to do a little bit of a pitch putt, where I get a little bit more up and down, and there's a little bit more arc to the disc. So go up and come down. It's softer, so it lands closer to the basket. That's the way I putt when I'm actually competing. But I see people do both, and I see them doing both really effectively. Is the spin like like the old frisbees? The yeah. spin is yeah. like what, how you how you manipulate an old yeah. so frisbee. Yes, right. so more okay. wrist. You don't want to use too much of your arm because that's going to introduce 
an angle. An angle, right? right. I might release it here. I might release it there. I want everything you to be straight, like pretty much in line. Like I'm painting. I have a paintbrush. And I'm, I'm painting this. Book. It's all wrist then. It's yes, thin. that's that's all wrist. It's all no it's all elbow. Uh, the arm motion is up and down. That's right. the Not but you also want to use your legs because I don't because it is all the wrist. I'm not using these arm muscles. So if I want to get it to the basket, I have to push with my legs to get some motion forward. Does that make sense? Okay. So here I'll back up a little bit. Hopefully it won't miss. It. So push back, push forward, click the wrist. So enough talk. I talk too much. Why don't you give it a try? There's a basket right there you can put at. There's a basket right here you can put at. Give it a try. Come around and I'll watch and see how you do. That was good. That's good. That actually that was wasn't that bad. That was good. Nice. Wow, look at her. Also good. <laughs> I guess I should pay attention. That was good too. I think I need to try from further out. It's all that, that yeah. gentle right there. Uh, yeah, I was just looking. Go ahead. I'm watching. Good. Try to use a little bit more push with your legs. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'm like just curling my finger around. I'm not. I don't really have it against the rim, but I've got so that I can transfer power with my pointer finger. And then, um, so what I like to do is hold it against like my breastbone. And as I line up, and, and my elbow's sort of pointing at the target, and, and my hip is like, pointed away from it. Make sure it's flat, and then straight. reach back, and straighten your elbow out, and you have to turn your head away from the target. That's good. And you want to pull it back in towards your breastplate where you started, and then out. And the motion is sort of like a pull start engine. Like if you're starting a, a mower, you've got to really pull up. And very good. Oh, I guess you can run on it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Just run your hand. Um, up in the air, right? Like, so, so. Well, he told me to do that. Straight across. Yeah, I love it. Around the outside edge, more like kind of curling your wrist up a little. Yeah, yeah. And then you're going to reach that and get that. You have to turn your hips and your shoulder. Well, that was a good one. And then you want your elbows. Yeah, I get that one. Are you And you're starting with Oh, look at you with the Oh, that's good. Oh, that was good. We got a super song. And then so we're going to start with our weight on our back. And then as we shift forward, we're going to shift forward. So let's, let's try just um, from our breastplate throwing without doing the whole winding up. And just. I don't want to like. I think it's more of a combo. So, yeah. Snap it. Yeah, you gotta get snapped. We don't want this is very real. The rim. That was great. The aiming wasn't great, but you had that. That was a score. Yeah, that's a score. Points on the board. I'll be a big girl and put my big girl pants on here. Yeah, and they'll go farther to get them down like on flat, parallel with the ground. <laughs> oh, heads up! No, you had good power on it though. Is that you? If I can even get it in the distance. It went in here, right? That's harder than I've had it before. Nice. Good rip. Oh, look at you. I mean, you're wow. ready to play now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the score one. <laughs> So yeah, you want your hand, your grip sort of around the outside edge of the disc, like here. Yeah, 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 perfect. Oh, look at you! Woo! Oh, look at you, Sammy! You can just bring bring the ankle down okay. and like yeah, try and try and pick a point on the ground to aim at. Okay, yeah, I'm not really aiming. I'm just when, yeah, pick yeah, something. 
So now we're on the fourth day, which is just throwing like that. And the goal for this one is getting the S, the whole S curve and everything. And this shot isn't got this one. So you guys just came from Andy? No, we came from putting. So. You are equal. Well, Andy, that's all about this. For this, this is, we're just going through the woods. We want to get around some trees. We're going behind, you know, getting through. And, uh, all right, what you so want to do is, I don't know how, what your guys' preference are for holding you know, you A lot of people uh, hold them with two fingers, thing is, is that, um, like that. that way, personally, I do the one, and your thumb but, have but on it, it's just then, whatever's comfortable. Like whether you like spread your fingers uh, out, or have when you let go, you stand like this, when you let go, you want to make sure it's level, and you want a little bit of a left hand curve off the bat like that. Uh, but you guys ready to so give it a try or we're gonna be doing um stand oh, hey. <laughs> how it starts is See? Perfect. See now? And um Whoa, that one I was uh, oh, yeah. when you were throwing it, you didn't let it just flow out of your hand. You have yeah, and so it came out. So how are your hands? Um, yeah. well, we're gonna get them today. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so and it really starts with your your hips. Uh, so you wanna like let your arms kind of look up this and let your arms kind of hang this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then you're gonna fall into the side arm. Yeah. Elbows gonna be extended. Look at that. Look at that.
trees. Yeah, but Whoa. yeah, where they go is a little bit. That was. Oh, there you go. Hey. Woo! Woo! Thanks, Jason. Yes, thank awesome. you. Awesome. Yes, thank uh, you. The winner of the round with a score of 24 was uh, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. And the winner of the long distance competition was Aaron. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's the winner. Now you have to start playing. Yeah. Oh, God. Now you got to play. You got to play. And the winner of our putting competition, Kathy. Yeah. 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 yeah.